Hello, and welcome back to Wild Sun Art Studio. My name is Robinson. Today we are playing with some paper cuts. Yay! Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you enjoy it. So I was cutting um, a couple of videos back, and I'll try to remember to link that below. Um, the um, origami paper, which is what I do paper cuts with most of the time, is uh, this. These big sheets are about nine and what is it? Nine, sorry, we're gonna make a mess here. Hopefully, not throw anything on the floor. Um, nine and three quarters, yeah, um, square. And I needed pieces that were, you know, this big, um, on the square. And so I had all of these pieces like this that were left over and I was wondering what I was going to do with them. And, uh, so I decided that I would do this, this, um, wonderful little repeating fan fold thing that I do, but I thought I'd show you some of the paper cuts first. This is a little tricky to do because they stick together. So there's one that I thought was very successful. And uh, here's this purple one that I like a lot. It's a little bit different um, cut. It's folded in half this way, but also folded in half this way. Here it is, I don't know, it just looks wild. This one is sort of falling apart. Sometimes these folds don't come together perfectly and I end up cutting, you know, too close right, right there. Um, so we did that one. Oh, here's a pretty one in green. I mean a paler green. Yeah, it's hard to move with these. This is one that I did not think was very successful. It's not very it's kind of thick and clunky and sometimes thick and clunky works out really well. And on that one, it didn't. So I really like this one. Yep. So we're going to make some more and more and more and more. All right. Stop making a mess. have these sort of on the edges. So uh, this is the piece of paper that I have. This is a little over two and a half inches by nine and three quarters. It doesn't matter. You can do this with any rectangle, although longer and skinnier for our purposes here. Uh, works a little better. So you take your piece of paper and it can be any paper. You can use newsprint, you can use, um, you can use newspaper too, especially if the printing on the newspaper is, is kind of regular, like it's the same font, um, going across for the, the type, um, of the articles. Uh, using pages of advertising, I find, for paper cuts is less effective. It's too much going on. Um, you can use, yeah, just about any old kind of paper you want. I like origami paper because it's so thin. So I folded my rectangle in half and then 
I'm going to fold it in half again. I'm basically making a fan here. And front to the front and fold the back to the back. Just helps make this measurement more similar. And again, the um, fold the one side to that side and fold the other side to that side. Just to make sure things don't slip out of place. And then you can take a bone folder and just go over those folds, making sure they're kind of in the right place. I use a pair of scissors um, from Fiskars named Razor Edge, R-A-Z-R-E-D-G-E. I think that's what it is. It's it's they've got a couple of different um, pairs of scissors. Some are bigger, some are smaller, but they all have that razor edge. And what it is is a, a sort of a serrated, a micro serrated edge here, which just makes paper cutting super simple. Um, it kind of grabs the paper a little bit, which is very helpful. So you will notice that one side you can see the white and the other side just opens to the color. So let's, when you can see the white, it means it's um, the end of the paper. And when you can only see color, it means it's one of these folds that's on the inside. So just for fun and ginger. Let's um, cut a heart in the middle. And actually, let me pull you in a bit. There we go. And then let's make some cuts around that. I'm going to try to cut a little flourish thing. Actually, I'm going to flourish up first. Belly that out a little bit. There we are. And now I'll curve it around that way. Yes, and talking while I'm doing this is sort of challenging. So I don't think I will be talking a whole, whole lot. It's just important to um, hold tight so that the paper do here. Um, uh, I'll just do this. There we go. Well, that came out okay. In an effort to make most of the design kind of intricate. I'm going to cut that little piece right there. Now let's come in from this edge so it's that. Oops, sorry. So it's we're cutting on the edge that'll be the end of the paper. about that. 
a little better. Now I want some of the fold to stay there, so I have to be careful. Not to cut all of it. that little cut here so that this edge and this edge are um, sort of running parallel and let's cut this corner off so I think it's important to confess that I have no idea what I'm going to do with all these paper cuts. They were just leftovers from the paper cuts that I did have a plan for, um, but I couldn't throw away all those pieces of paper and just say goodbye and not do anything with them. Um, so now I'll have to think up a project for these. I don't know what that project will be. Ooh, I could make a journal and have these as, I don't know, decorations on the pages. Well, that's interesting. Here, let me pull you back out again. Um, these hearts are really big and these little swirls and furl fern swirls and flourishes, that was the word I was looking for, are, are much smaller. So this kind of works for me in that it's just pretty and it's hard. So what's not to work? But, um, I think these hearts are, are sort of gargantuan they feel too big um, compared to the the littleness of um, these little swirls but that's pretty cool so we have um, a little bit of time let's try another cut so there's our long piece of paper we fold it in half Nice sharp crease as we go. Front to the front, back to the back. And again, oh, actually let's do something different. Let's fold it this way. So not that way, no, let's fold it this way. I'm never entirely sure what this is going to do. And I'm going to pull you in a little bit. There is it. There it is. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Oh, what can we do? Well, 
let's do a nice little spiral. Back out. And again, you'll see that this is the edge where we can um, see the white on the back. So that will be the edge of the paper. And this fold will be somehow inside. I don't know. We'll look and see what that does. Scalloped. So I always think of scallops as being round, not pointed, but beginning to look like a rooster to me. <laughs> Let's do another swirl. Interesting shape. Goodness. So you'll notice this um, sort of pointed edge and this pointed edge are now kind of um, referencing each other in the pattern. Just do a little tiny bit of a cut there. Just that little bit. All right, you ready? Uh, let's pull us back out again. Yes, I finger press all of these folds open 
I find that to be very helpful and no, I am not your commander. You don't have to do that. Wow, I'm, I'm really not talking to you. Um, just going way inside to find that. Oh, you know what I like about this one? I really like this sense of a pillar right there. There's another one there. Um, the center one is different. But I really like these two. And I like how the swirls kind of come and meet each other there. Uh, this is a great one. All right. This is a place to stop. Um, there we go. This is what we have accomplished so far today. Ta-da! Um... I wish you many joyful accomplishments in your world, in your life. I wish you many sparkles of color and light. Um, yeah. I wish you very well. As I blow these wishes across the world to you. Ta -da -da. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye.